What's up, YouTube? It's Verdicts here, bringing you guys another video today. And today we have a live commentary. Today we're going to be playing some Domination on the map Frontier. And we're going to be showing off the sniper rifle today. This is the perfect map for it, too, because I just want to show how. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just let the gameplay speak. Um, so, this is the most close range map in the game. I'm sure all of you know. Um, and we're just going to show off how. How viable sniping is in this game. There's another word I want to use for it. it starts with an E, um, then it makes like a Z sound. But yeah, we'll just use the word viable for now. And yeah, we're okay. Can't kill that guy. Oh, now we can. If he comes back. We're just gonna push. So yeah, we're just gonna use the word viable because I don't want to. And I'm getting hit markers. Great, 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 great. I don't want to upset anyone out there that's a sniper, but, um, yeah, like, there are, there are some issues with the sniper rifle in this game. I'm sorry, but they brought back, there's, they just did so many for snipers in this game. First of all, the pistol is amazing for if you ever do manage to miss or no scope, um, which isn't really a problem with the sniper in and of itself. It's, honestly, the pistol's just the pistol's just OP, but yeah, the sniper they brought back auto aim for it, so it's relatively easy to hit shots. Um, I've gotten, I mean, I know I got a hit marker earlier in this game already, but like I don't consider myself a good sniper, like at all. I'm a relatively like I snipe very rarely. So when I can do stuff like what just happened, I almost freaking blink played him, FTL jumped him, and it would have been it'd have been in a montage. I, I literally if I miss I switch to a pistol. I mean I know I'm not your like basic sniper that just quick scope, but like if I miss a shot I switch to my pistol, so I'm sorry for coming off as like a newbie sniper. But um let's be real, this game is friendly for like it's noob friendly in terms of snipers, so Hey, I just got sniped. But they brought back the auto aim for sniper rifles, and I know, like, a lot of snipers complained about that and stuff in Black Ops 3. But let's be real. Like, if you were a good enough sniper in Black Ops 3, you could still hit some good shots. Like, especially with the movement system, you can make the shots look really cool by, you know, wall running and stuff. But, um, I suck at sniping. It's, that was a bad, bad example. I'm 14 and 7 on the smallest map in the game using a sniper rifle. And, um, okay. Oh my god. What was I even saying just now? Black Ops 3 sniping was fair. Okay, yeah. Um, Black Ops 3 sniping, we didn't have auto aim, which I know a lot of people complained about, but I feel like that's fair in terms of sniping the fact that most of the time it's a one shot kill. And, um, people complained, like, well, there's way too much movement in the game for snipers to not have any auto aim. It's way too hard to hit people. But I don't feel like people are taking into consideration the fact that, like, us shooting back at you, we also have to deal with with the fact that you're moving. And it's very relevant in this game. What I'm about to talk about is, like, shit. The movement, this is why the pistol is too good, the movement for um, sniper rifles is literally just like, side. you kind of just, you jump up, wow, you jump up right here, I'll actually show you, you, like a lot of snipers are just sitting here like this, like they jump up and they kind of just wait, they wait for people to come into their line of sight and then they shoot them and it's so easy to hit them because of the auto aim, I'm not going to keep doing it because it's boring for you guys, but that's what a lot of people are doing in this game. Can we cap a flag, please? Like, A lot of people are just sitting there and um, just jumping up and down, and people are saying, like, well, we needed auto aim, but I don't think they're understanding that it's how hard it is for any sort of assault rifle or submachine gun or anything other than a sniper to hit them while they're jumping up and down like that. Like, you have... It's... You kill us in one bullet and... Okay, you're sitting right next to the flag, really. You kill us in one bullet with a sniper rifle, whereas we have to hit you multiple times, and you're showing yourself for... 
the for us to hit one bullet. Like you're jumping up and down for you to shoot one bullet, whereas like we can't shoot much more than one bullet at you while you're doing that. There's a guy coming right here. There's not. So while you're jumping up and down, like barely peeking to try to hit the one bullet that you need to hit to kill us, we're sitting there trying to. Crap. We're sitting there trying to hit you with four or five bullets to try to kill you. Okay, I would have hit him if that thing wasn't there. And I understand where snipers are coming from. Like, it was too... Too difficult in Black Ops 3, maybe. Maybe Black Ops 3 did it too much with no auto-aim at all. I personally felt like it was perfect. Because there was actually, like... It felt rewarding to hit a snipe on someone in that game. I'm literally missing everything right now, so ironic that I'm talking about it. and then I get a hit marker. I miss everything and then get a hit marker. But I felt like in that game it was actually rewarding to get a sniping kill, uh, especially in like Search and Destroy, because you could make your kills look cool. Like you could sit there and uh, do a wall run and jump up super high with and like, okay, what the hell, and then snap onto someone with your sniper even without auto aim. So. In this game, I've already done, like, I wasn't recording at the time, but there are insane, I mean, there's very, there's a lot less movement in terms of wall running and getting super high. There's a lot less. Not that it doesn't exist, because it does, and we've found spots on maps already, but there's a lot less in comparison to Black Ops 3. But, um, here we go. I get that kill every time I play this map. And I usually, usually someone comes right there and then I go to the flag and kill them off the flag. Literally snipe them off the flag before they get the flag. Because no one helped them for some reason, I don't understand. But um, in Black Ops 3 it was so rewarding to get a snipe sometimes. Just because like, you know it's difficult to snipe in that game. It, Cause, oh, he, pu he pushes and my teammate just stands there. Literally just stands there. But in this game, yes it's, it's fun. It's fun to snipe. I will, that is something I can't deny. It is fun to use a sniper rifle in this game <coughs> just because of the insane things that you can do with it. <coughs> like, I've gotten multiple three and four pieces already this game while live commentary. Or while doing a live commentary. And I s usually suck that while I'm doing a live commentary. I cannot aim while talking. Like, at all. But, um... Alright, dude. He doesn't even get on the flag, man. Like, I just chased you around. Whatever. But I've hit multiple like feeds. I guess you could, not really feeds because they were split. I think. But um, I've hit multiple three and four pieces this game while using a sniper, and that guy's better than me clearly. <clears throat> but it's just I feel I feel like it's too easy. I don't know. Uh, I feel like they need to tone down the auto aim at least. Like they don't need to take it all the way out. I guess. Like if they if people want auto aim on snipers, let them have auto aim, auto aim on snipers. It's fine. It's not going to affect me that much. Um. It's just really annoying in pubs, which I'm not really going to play that much once the game actually comes out. <clears throat> so, I'll get over it. It's not really, it's not that big of a deal. But, um, hey, I got the no scope. But I just feel like at the very least, they should tone it down for us. I don't know. Uh, at least tone down the auto aim to, <clears throat> because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but at range in this game, like, I mean, you don't really shoot at range that much with a sub, but even with an ACR, ACR, an AR, um, <laughs> you, your aim assist starts to drop off at range, whereas, like, it gets relatively difficult to actually hit people because you're getting less assist from the game, like, pulling you towards the character's, or the enemy's body. So it actually becomes relatively hard to hit someone at range with an assault rifle. I feel like that auto aim, the amount of auto aim you get at range with an AR, should be the auto aim that snipers get, period. They should get just a little bit of help to uh, help them move towards the person, and then that should be that should be all. In this game, it almost feels like you lock on to people. Like, everyone has a built-in sniper aimbot, which is just way too much. I don't know, because I'm, like I said before, I'm not a good sniper. I don't snipe. Uh, Black Ops 3, I sniped in SND just because, like, every team needs someone that snipes for the most part. Like, you, you want to have someone on your team that can snipe and get a pick for you. So that's, like, and I didn't do amazingly well at it. I mean, 
I was average at sniping in Black Ops 3. Which I was fine with, because it actually took skill. Like, I feel like at being average at sniping in Black Ops 3 was common for most people. Like, there weren't many people that could just... I mean, aside from the, the actual snipers in the community, there weren't people just, like, never missing with their sniper rifles. And even actual snipers were missing because it actually took skill to, like, aim, line up your bullet without the auto-aim. Wow. First of all, um, FTL jump is the best payload in the game. I'll say it again. And that pistol's retarded good. It's actually insane. The one that I killed with, not the one that I died to. I'm gonna kill this guy. Easy mode! Sniping's easy. I know this is the smallest map in the game. So... Okay, dude. I'm supposed to get a lot of kills, I guess. But... It's actually insane how many kills you can get with a sniper rifle on a map this small. This easily. Like, if I would have had a bullet, in my, if I wouldn't have had to re reload my gun right there, I'd kill that third guy. Easy. No contest. That's 50 kills. Game's not over yet. I just did a live commentary before this with an AR and only got 50 kills. That's 51 right there. With a sniper rifle, with the, or on the smallest map in the entire game. By far. This map's literally just a maze of people at all times. Like, it's pure gunfights. They never stop. I'm gonna kill this guy, because FTL jumps OP. Um, I don't even know where this guy came from. This guy's trying to drop a new. Yo! That was, that was cool. Because I wasn't even FTL jumping for that guy in particular. I was FTL jumping to kill the guy that I ended up killing. So that he wouldn't kill me, and then the other guy came. We're gonna, uh, are we gonna lose or win? Yo! Okay. One sec. Let's go play the objective real quick. We gotta win this game. Come on. Oh my god. No, we're actually gonna lose, man. We got a cat V, like, now. This was OP. Um, guy right here. Guy right there. Nah, we're gonna lose. Whatever. Um, yeah, I kinda just wanted to talk about snipers in this game. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If they're just fine how they are, if they need to be nerfed. <laughs> if you agree with me on the whole auto-aim thing. Now, I did die a lot more times in this game just because that's the nature of the map, right? You're going to die more on this map. But, um, 56 kills with a sniper rifle with 10 defense. My team... How many? My team got 6, 9 defense as a whole between the 5 of them. And I got 10. I might only have 1 capture, but how do you only get 9 defense? But, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about snipers, and that's going to be it for today. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about snipers, whether they need to be nerfed in terms of auto-aim, uh, like just turn it down a little bit. Did I just get put in another game? Whatever. What the hell? What? <laughs> I just got put in... Whatever. Uh, whether they need to be nerfed in terms of auto-aim, whether they need to turn auto-aim off altogether. I mean, that's what I think they should do, just because I liked Black Ops 3 sniping. I thought it was the most fair in terms of competition. But, um, I'm fine with them just tuning it down a little bit. That'd be fine by me. So let me know in the comments below what you think they should do with the sniper rifles in this game. And once again, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Hi, guy running all right i think i'm behind you right now is this you yeah what's up watch me watch me watch me watch me turn around taliban oh that works too yeah oh i ran